Hey everyone, I'm Rushlock. This video is for the Day 1 Alpha Caracal. Uh, what we want to do is open up your probe scanner. Because I'll close this up so I can show you how. Let's go here. Probe scanner, Alt P. Uh, sort by name once or twice until you see Sancha Rally Points. Float to the top. This is for if you're in uh, Pravi. I'll warp in at 30. I'll leave this up when I run my sites, but you can close it out if you want to. So we're going to turn on our active mods here. So I've warped in at 30. Um, I just realized though that you can probably warp in at zero because when you land, uh, you land 20 kilometers off the rats on this site, but the extra range won't matter. It won't do anything negative for us. Make sure there's no one friendly on site and we're good. So, I'm going to make sure I use the right side tower. I'm going to orbit that at, let's say, 25 for now. Let's turn on our prop mod. Check the range on your missiles. Uh, our current has us at 61, so we are well within range here. Uh, we're going to primary down the tower we're orbiting. We're using heavy missiles. The guidance computer is going to help us track smaller uh, track, but it'll help our missiles apply damage to the smaller targets. But uh, for now, this is fine. When the first tower pops, it's going to leave a cargo can behind, and we're going to use that as an orbiting anchor. Uh, the reason I take out the the turrets, they're not necessary to clear the site, but it's that much less damage um, on the grid. So um, I guess there's an issue with this overview I need to find. Oh, we'll just use this here. Orbit this at thirty. And you'll play with and you'll adjust your orbits. Again, we're going to take out the next structure, though, to uh, mitigate the damage from wave to wave. We don't really care about the rat positioning on the overall site. Missiles go in there. Um, I think I can have four things targeted on the Alpha. So this site's only going to have, uh, I think, five or six waves. Only the last wave should matter. Uh, that's going to have the battleships on there. It's going to have one or two battleships. And the biggest difference between the Galente Day 1 and the Caldari Day 1 Alpha uh, for Nullsec writing is that you can actually break a battleship Day 1 with the Caldari. Get the next target here dealt with. The site's really simplistic. Um, the reason, we'll go back to the probe scanner here, the reason we're doing the basic rally point and not the Sanchez, the apostrophe S. The one with the apostrophe S has a wave that has loyal cruisers on it. They're elite cruisers. They're a lot tankier. will take a lot longer to burn down. Um, that's the biggest difference. So if you're brand new, you're just starting out, this is your first time out. Uh, you can even see right now we don't even have our drones out. I think our control range, let me lock up some more targets here. I'm pretty sure our control range is going to be 25 kilometers. So something's going to have to get close to that before we can actually use our drones. We'll kick them out and uh, apply damage there. Throw our drones there. It's actually a little DPS. It'll be really nice for the battleships because we can orbit them at like 20. Just pepper them with missiles and let our drones go to work. But overall, the site's pretty much uh, autopilot at this point. You gotta make sure to reactivate your missiles after they go on reload and whenever they finish a current target. Um, other than that though, it should be pretty easy, easy for you. Uh, again, the last wave will have the battleships. That's the only one that takes any, you know, significant amount of time to clear. But as always, if you have questions, comments, concerns, post them in the comments down below the video. Uh, the rest of the site is going to uh, run in kind of like rapid speed, just so you can get a basic idea of what's uh, to come. I'll, I'll narrate any parts that, that need special attention, but should be pretty straightforward from here. Uh, this site can also escalate into a 6 to 10 escalation, the DED, the 6 to 10. So if you get one of those escalations, a pop-up box will appear at the end of the site. That's what you're watching for. If you get one of those, you can cross-reference the video for how to bookmark and sell a DED. Uh, right currently, at the time of this video, you can get uh, 70 mil per uh, 6 to 10 bookmark. Selling them either directly to Frank or putting them on P-Trade. But again, that's everything I can think of. Uh, the video should go into accelerated time here. I'll narrate anything else worth noting, but sit back and watch the rest get blocked. 
All right, we're back with the final wave. It's going to be two battle cruisers and a battleship. Sometimes there can be a second battleship, so be aware of that. We're going to primary down the battle cruisers first, just to get DPS off the grid. Uh, once we've done that, we'll change our orbit to about uh, 20 on the battleship. That way we can put our drone damage on it, get it cleared a little bit faster. Let's mock him up as well. There can be a faction spawn on this wave. If there is, it'll be an additional battle cruiser. When you pop one of those, you just want to make sure you bookmark the wreck. That way, if you warp off and forget to loot it, you can always come back, warp back to your bookmark. Now, if you've done so, remove your bookmark so you don't end up with a bunch with the same name. But uh, this is the final wave. Uh, Battlecruiser 1 is almost down. Battlecruiser 2 will, will follow that one. And then we'll work on the battleship. Uh, we'll probably go into accelerated time because it takes a little bit of time to wear down the battleship itself. Just again, remember to uh, change your orbit to the battleship if you want to apply, apply your drone damage. Uh, you can break it without them, but you'll break it faster with your drones. So with that, we'll go into fast forward mode. And that's it. That's the end of the site. Uh, if we'd gotten a DED at the end there, a pop-up box would have appeared. And then you would go into your journal, go to your expeditions, and it'll be listed here. You can right-click, set destination. Uh, I wouldn't go there in your caracal. I'd go there like in a shuttle or some kind of frigate. But uh, that's the whole site. That's how you start off as a Caldari Alpha in Milsec, uh, specifically in, in, in Providence. But as always, if you have questions, comments, put them down in the comments below. And fly safe.